Hey, it's Debbie here again, and I'm sorry it's a little bit dark today. I just cannot get the lighting right, and it's raining outside. Now, yesterday we did day 10, and we talked about um, the 30-30-30 rule. Well, today is day 11, and I want to talk to you about cutting yourself some slack. I mean, it's all very well trying to be perfect, but we weren't sent to be he here to be perfect. The only perfect being that ever came to this earth was Jesus Christ. And if we wanted to be perfect, we would have been picked to come in his place. Well, I'm glad I didn't, because I don't think that I could have put up with the pain he had to go through. I just know I wouldn't have been able to do it. And that's why I wasn't selected and I didn't volunteer for the job. Um, so, you know, you've got to cut yourself some slack. Um, it's nice to try and be perfect at everything, but you can't. You just can't. This is a whole learning curve being down here on this earth. We've come here to learn from experiences. And you can learn a lot from experiences. Um, it's just a matter of how you tackle it. We all have problems, we all have challenges, and every day there's something else to learn. Whether it's just how to cope with somebody, um, how to cope with how they talk maybe, or um, maybe it's a learning curve on how to use a new appliance without getting mad at it. Um, I read in the paper this morning that someone shot a computer because it wasn't going very well. I mean, really, that's a little bit extreme, isn't it? Um, and that's not what we hear about, no. And because when life gets challenging, you know, and boring and all that sort of thing, it's time for big change. So you've got to change your thoughts in your head as to what you're doing. Um, um, you know, everyone blows up now and again, even the most um, placid person. You might not see them do it. No, because they might like to preserve their reputation of being a placid person. But I tell you what, everybody does. I mean, I go away and weep when I have a problem. And I weep to myself instead of blowing up about it and forgetting about it. But I'm one of those people, you hold on to it and hold on to it. And guess what? It develops into some sickness into my body. And that's what I'm experiencing right now. I'm trying to think, now, what did I do to bring this on myself? Because all sickness is just something that is stressing you. And I've got a lot of things going on in my mind at the moment. And I'm trying to think now which one of those, or is it all of them, <laughs> that's made me the way I am right now. However, I've got to try this next week. Well, not try. I've got to do this week. I've got to work on myself and get it out of me. Because I don't want to be like this. I don't want to be holed up in the bus. I want to be able to visit my friends. I want to go out there and experience the world and going on my walks every day and enjoying nature. And, and that's what it's all about. So everybody has some way of... Um, excuse me, I've got this cough again. <coughs> Everyone has some way of dealing with things that don't go right in their life. You might be somebody who can just blow up. That's great for you because you can get it over and done with straight away. It would be lovely to be like you. I've tried that a few times. It has worked and I should um, learn from that experience. But then I don't want to hurt people's feelings. So I'd rather hurt myself instead of others. Now that's not good because look what happens. You get sick. And I have been for a couple of months and oh, I don't know. Something's been bothering me and I just can't get to the root of it. However... I am going to continue to work on it as I continue to listen to The Secret every day, as I continue to do my reading and to continue to do these things for 30 minutes. You see, so it's a 30-30-30 rule <clears throat> that you have to keep working on all the time in your life. Don't let it go. Um, so I just want you to know today, cut yourself some slack. Everybody has their moments. And if you go through something and think, oh, well, I didn't do it very well that time. But never mind, I'll know what to do next time. Good. That's the way you face these things. So be gentle with yourself. Love yourself. You know what I do? Usually when I'm well, I take myself out for a date every week. Because I just think, well, if I want to be treated like, some, like how I would like to be treated, well, Am I good company for myself? So guess what I do? I go and take myself out for a date every week. And guess what? My husband takes me out more often when I'm doing that. 
um, and so you know you might go for a walk you might go to the movies you might just go down the local cafe and have a cup of hot chocolate in my case in your case you may want a latte but the thing is just do something for yourself make yourself feel good about what you've been doing I mean I work really hard you know I work 18 hour days on my books and on chapters of things and on my articles for my blogging and on my research you know I work, I work really hard and I deserve a break now and again and you know one time I had decided oh well we're going to go and do this on this particular day and then that day I didn't particularly feel like going and so I said oh no we're not going to go today well you know I felt my spirit sink inside me I really, really did. And it's an experience you don't want to experience because they got sulky and didn't come out for another few days, you know. So look after yourself. Pamper yourself. Give yourself some slack. Realize you're not perfect and nobody else is either. And you're allowed to blow up if you want to. You're allowed to go off and weep if that's how you'd rather do it. Just know. This is your world you are creating for you, not for anybody else. Okay, so we're going to have day 12 tomorrow. This is day 11 today. I'm so excited about doing these, um, these videos because I can feel myself growing so much every single day. Okay, so I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye. You have a great day.